the solar system. The Milky Way is the galaxy that contains our solar system, with the name describing the galaxy's appearance from Earth. It has millions of stars grouped together by a strong gravitational force at the center which controls all the stars revolving around. The solar system is made up of all the planets that orbit our Sun. In addition to planets, the solar system also consists of moons, comets, asteroids, minor planets, dust and gas. Everything in the solar system orbits or revolves around the Sun. The Sun contains around 98% of all the material in the solar system. The larger an object is, the more gravity it has. Because the Sun is so large, its powerful gravity attracts all the other objects in the solar system towards it. A satellite is any such object in space that moves in a definite orbit around a larger body. Earth is a satellite of the Sun, revolving at a speed of about 66,600 miles per hour. Since there is movement in space, do collisions occur? Yes, the Earth collides with thousands of small members of the solar system every day. One of the important questions is, how did the solar system form? There are two major theories on formation of the solar system. The planetesimal theory. The other is the nebular theory. The planetesimal theory was developed by T.C. Chamberlain and F.R. Moulton in the early part of the 20th century. It states that a star passed close to the sun, huge tides were raised on the surface, some of this erupted matter was torn free, and by a cross pull from the star, was thrust into elliptical orbits around the sun. Then the smaller masses quickly cooled to become solid bodies, called planetesimals. As their orbits crossed, the larger bodies grew by absorbing the planetesimals, thus becoming planets. The nebular theory was developed by Immanuel Kant and given scientific form by P.S. Laplace at the end of the 18th century. It assumed that the solar system in its first state was a nebula, a hot, slowly rotating mass of rarefied matter, which gradually cooled and contracted, the rotation becoming more rapid, in turn giving the nebula a flattened, disc-like shape. In time, rings of gaseous matter became separated from the outer part of the disk, until the diminished nebula at the center was surrounded by a series of rings. Out of the material of each ring, a great ball was formed, which by shrinking eventually became a planet. The mass at the center of the system condensed to form the Sun. The Sun The Sun is actually a large star. Because the Sun is closer to us than any other star, it appears as a ball of orange, yellow, or white light in the sky. Like most stars, the Sun is a large mass of hydrogen and helium gases, that constantly burn and regenerate, giving off heat, energy, and light. Here are the many other characteristics of the Sun. The surface temperature of the Sun is around 5,500 degrees Celsius. This is at almost thousand times hotter than the Earth. Although the Sun is composed mainly of light gases, such as hydrogen and helium, because of its very large size, the mass of the Sun, is a more than 300,000 times heavier, than the Earth. How big is the Sun, compared to our Earth? If the Sun is as big as a basketball, 
the earth will just be a tiny dot. That is how big the sun is. The sun is 860,000 miles wide. So about 109 earths can fit inside the sun. It is about 93 million miles away from the earth. The sun does not have any air or water and is too hot for anything to live there. The sun's surface is rough, with flares, spikes, waves, and storms happening all the time. The layers of the sun. The sun has several layers. The inner layers are known as the core, the radiative zone, and the convection zone. The sun also has outer layers. The outer layers are the photosphere, the chromosphere, and the corona. The core. The core is the source of all the sun's energy. It has a very high temperature, more than 15 million degrees Kelvin, and the material in the core is very tightly packed or dense. The radiative zone. The radiative zone is the region surrounding the core of the sun. Throughout this region of the solar interior, energy, in the form of radiation, is transferred by its interaction with the surrounding atoms. The temperature in the radiative zone is a little cooler than the core, and as a result some atoms are able to remain intact. In the convection zone, energy continues to move toward the surface, through convection currents of the heated and cooled gas. The photosphere is the deepest layer of the sun that we can observe directly. The photosphere reaches from the surface visible at the center of the solar disk, to about 250 miles, or 400 kilometers, above that. The chromosphere is an irregular layer above the photosphere, where the temperature rises from 6,000 degrees Celsius to about 20,000 degrees Celsius. At these higher temperatures hydrogen emits light that gives off a reddish color. The corona is the outermost layer of the sun, starting at about 1,300 miles, or 2,100 kilometers, above the solar surface, which is the photosphere. The corona cannot be seen with the naked eye, except during a total solar eclipse, or with the use of a coronagraph. There are several solar activities that occur in the sun. These include, sunspots, prominences, and solar flares. The sunspots are dark, irregular patches of the photosphere. These are gigantic areas of the solar surface, 800 to 80,000 kilometers across, and less brilliant than the surrounding regions. Prominences are large, bright, gaseous feature, extending outward from the sun's surface, often in a loop shape. These are seen as billowing arches of gas. These prominences represent the completion of the loop of flowing gas. Solar flares are sudden eruptions, which spray fountains of very hot gases into space. Then after 15 to 30 minutes, the explosive phase begins and for 15 minutes or more, the flare gives off X-rays, UV rays, visible light, and radio waves. These solar flares occur when magnetic energy that has built up in the solar atmosphere is suddenly released. In reality, these solar flares have already brought destruction with electrical equipment causing massive electrical power failures. Our sun lies at the heart of our solar system but it undoubtedly still holds many secrets from science. Many scientists believe that unlocking these mysteries may possibly shed light on puzzling phenomenon in other stars, and even safeguard our very own lives.